Tesla Powerwall 3, Enphase IQ Battery 5P. Which is the best home storage battery as we go into 2024? I'm gonna be answering that question and teaching you all about these two products in today's video. Hi everyone, Joe Ordia here for Solar Surge, and for the past 11 years I've been helping families achieve energy independence using clean, renewable energy. Now, if you're new to the Solar Surge channel, on Solar Surge you're going to find product reviews on solar panels, batteries, inverters, uh, pretty much any technology or component that makes up a home renewable energy system. Now, in today's video we're doing a head-to-head -head comparison of what I believe are the two market-leading battery brands for home batteries. The Tesla Powerwall 3, just announced recently, and the Enphase IQ Battery 5P, released earlier this year. Now, we're going to be doing the evaluation in five categories. There's a maximum total score of five points per category for a maximum total score of 25 points. Now, those categories are power, uh, of course, the storage capacity of the battery, the warranty of the battery, uh, and of course, the cost to get the battery and to get the battery installed. And then finally, what I like to call the X Factor. And what the X Factor is, is a way that I can award additional points for unique features and functionality where there may not be a direct one-for-one -one apples to apples comparison, but where there could be significant impact for you as a potential system owner. So with that, let's get into the comparison. All right, first up is the new Tesla Powerwall 3. Now, I should preface all of this by saying that we're going off the information that we have currently that Tesla has announced, but the first Powerwall 3 units have not yet been installed to our knowledge, so this is all based on published information here. Now, in terms of power, the Tesla Powerwall 3 boasts power rating of 11.5 kilowatts continuous power. Uh, that's a lot. That's pretty much the highest of any home battery product that's currently on the market. In fact, Tesla claims that a single battery can handle 150 LRA motor start. So this would be for your, your central air conditioning compressor. They're saying that a single battery can handle up to 150 locked rotor amp uh, compressor startup. Now, that may be the case if that air conditioning compressor is the only thing connected to the battery. But in most cases, if you're talking about a whole house backup, you're going to have multiple air conditioning units and other heavy loads like clothes dryers, electric ovens, and so forth. So for a true whole house backup, you really are going to want to look at two batteries or more. Now, in terms of storage capacity, each Powerwall 3 provides capacity of 13 and a half kilowatt hours, which actually is the same as the original Powerwall, uh, the Powerwall 2 and the Powerwall Plus. So that 13 and a half kilowatt hours usable storage remains the same. Now, in terms of cost of the battery, we have seen the cost on the Powerwalls come up. In fact, right now, as of this recording, if we're talking about just getting Powerwall 2s installed, the current generation Powerwall 2s, it costs about as much to get two Powerwalls installed as it would cost to get four of the Enphase batteries installed. And we'll talk more about that later in the comparison. Now, in terms of warranty, they still have the 10-year warranty. And in terms of X-Factor, I'm gonna award Tesla plus two additional X-Factor points. And really, it has to do with the integration of everything on the single Tesla app, as well as the integration of the battery in the inverter into a single appliance. Uh, I know we've gotten a lot of feedback from Tesla vehicle owners that they really appreciate having a single app that handles both their vehicle charging and their solar and their battery. Um, but the other thing that Tesla did is they, they combined the solar inverter and the battery storage into one appliance. So the Powerwall 3 is both your battery storage your solar inverter and your battery inverter built into one appliance. And I think the integrated design is really gonna to lead to a much better aesthetic, much better looking final product for the homeowner. Okay, now let's move on to the Enphase IQ Battery 5P. All right, so next up is the new Enphase IQ Battery 5P. Now in terms of power, the Enphase IQ Battery 5P provides 3.8 kilowatts continuous power. And yes, that's considerably less than the power boasted by Tesla Powerwall 3. However, in most cases, you're gonna be using multiple batteries. In this example here, there's two. Most of the installations I'm doing include four batteries, so you can take that number and quadruple it in terms of what the total system capacity is. 
Now in terms of storage capacity, each battery provides five kilowatt hours. That's what the five in the 5P model number indicates, or that's what it's referencing is the five kilowatt hour storage capacity. Um, again, much lower than Tesla, but for most installations where you're talking about a whole house backup, you're gonna be using four of these batteries connected together. So quadruple that number in terms of total system capacity. Now, in terms of cost, the Enphase IQ Battery 5P is actually the lowest cost home LFP battery available today. Uh, if I look at the prices that I have and what, what my cost to get these batteries installed are, um, as of today, I can get four of these IQ Battery 5Ps installed for less than the price of having two Tesla Powerwalls installed. And so I think Enphase performs very, very well in this area. And in terms of X Factor, I'm going to give the IQ Battery 5P plus three additional X Factor points. And it really has more to do with being part of the Enphase ecosystem or the Enphase platform. Uh, a lot of this video, we've been talking about just the battery itself. But the reality is that these solar equipment manufacturers are becoming their own ecosystem. That includes solar inverters, battery storage, um, and then oftentimes other accessories like electric vehicle chargers or even generator hookups as well. In fact, if we look at the Enphase platform, the Enphase IQ8 platform includes much, much more than just battery storage. You have micro inverters on your solar panels. You have, of course, the IQ battery we've talked about in today's video. Uh, they're also developing a bi-directional EV charger. And this is especially interesting for those of you that have electric vehicles or are planning on investing in an electric vehicle. This allows you to interface your electric vehicle with your home's renewable energy system, which basically presents to the system as another battery that can be used to store energy, uh, or in the case of a grid blackout, an, an additional power source that you can pull from to keep power on inside your house. They even give you a generator hookup option as well. So by using the Enphase battery or the Enphase platform, you, you could potentially have access to much, much more functionality. On the other hand, looking at Tesla's platform today, you basically just have your solar, your power wall for storage, and your gateway, which is what provides for backup switching so you have secure backup power to the house. But Tesla has not yet integrated bi-directional EV charging uh, and generator support. However, these are some of the integrations that we expect to see in the future. Um, if you saw my previous video on what I want to see in Tesla Powerwall 3, uh, one of the things I mentioned is that I'd like to see Tesla acquire Span Smart Panel because that would then put Tesla right sort of as the central traffic cop of all the energy distribution in the house, would allow them to do a generator tie-in, battery tie-in, uh, and uh, do load control, intelligent load control. And that's another important component for these home backup systems because if, let's say if you're running on battery backup power, you may not want to power everything in your house. You may want to cut power off to certain heavy draw items like clothes dryers, for example, or electric ovens. Don't allow those things to run so you can conserve your battery stored energy for more critical items like refrigerators or water pumps or home office equipment. So I think at some point in the future, we are going to see Tesla bring some sort of intelligent load control onto their platform as well. Just a quick word from our sponsor, Savant Power and the Savant Energy Management System. If you're considering an investment in a solar plus storage system, then you're gonna to wanna to have maximum visibility and control of how much energy you're harvesting, how much energy you're storing, and how that energy is being distributed within the home. The new Savant power system allows you to dynamically control which circuits are on and which circuits are off depending on battery state of charge, allowing you to extend your battery running time during a blackout. The system also includes an integrated electric vehicle charger, allowing you to charge directly from solar or from the grid or a combination of both. So if you'd like to learn more information, you can visit the Savant Power website or click the link in the description below so that you can get in touch with an installer right away. All right, so if we total it up, I'm awarding Powerwall five out of five on power. This is the tops in the industry right now, highest power battery. A four out of five on capacity, four out of five on warranty. Right now they are at a 10 year warranty compared to Enphase, which is actually just up theirs to 15 years. Uh, three out of five on cost. Powerwall is now sort of middle of the road in terms of cost, plus two additional X Factor points for that elegant integration for a total of 18 points. Now for the Enphase battery, I'm awarding three out of five on power. Let's admit it here, guys, the Enphase battery by itself is underpowered, but again, typically you're gonna be using four of them 
for a whole house backup. Uh, in terms of storage capacity, again, three out of five points, it, it is a smaller battery. The five kilowatt hours is a smaller battery. That's actually the one thing I'm most surprised about with Enphase that they did not, they did not offer a larger variant. With their previous generation battery, they had a three and a 10, and the 10 was basically three of the threes together. I'd actually like to see an IQ battery 15P with maybe three of the five modules put together in one larger appliance. Uh, again, for those who want whole house backup with central air conditioning, you just need more capacity. I'm giving Enphase five out of five on the warranty because they have the longest battery warranty available on the market now at 15 years. Uh, plus three additional X Factor points for being able to participate on the Enphase platform, on the Enphase ecosystem with things like generator hookup, bi-directional EV charging, load control, and so forth. That gives us a total of 19 points for the IQ Battery 5P. So folks, I guess if I had to choose one for my house today, I would choose the Enphase platform. Not necessarily because the battery itself is, is much better or much more powerful, but more because of the other features and functionality that I get on the Enphase platform. I get micro inverters on each panel. I can track each panel individually. I have bi-directional EV charging. I have a generator hookup option. And for somebody like me, who's all about self-sufficiency and redundancy, I just feel that the Enphase platform as a whole is gonna be a better solution. But folks, like with all these comparison videos, it's not to say one brand's better than the other or one product's better than the other. A lot of it depends on your personal needs, uh, your personal situation, especially if you're already part of the Tesla ecosystem, maybe as a vehicle owner, it may make sense for you to just stick on the Tesla platform for everything else. And that's, that's really, I think, how you wanna think of these in the marketplace now. These are no longer modular components that you can mix and match modular components from different brands. The trend that we're seeing is convergence on a single brand, convergence on a single platform, and that's gonna handle your solar, your battery, your EV charging, your load control, all in one place. Well, folks, as always, if you're getting good value from the videos that you see here on Solar Surge, make sure you hit that thumbs up button uh, and hit that subscribe button as well if you haven't done so already. That way, as we have new videos like this coming out, it'll come up on your homepage and your feed and you can stay up to date with us. Uh, of course, if you're a homeowner, if you're in the process of getting quotes for solar and battery systems for your home, uh, if you need to get a quote for a Tesla system or an Enphase system, uh, or any of the other leading systems for that matter, uh, as always, feel free to reach out to us on the link below there. You can set up a quick Zoom call with one of our experts here, and we'd be happy to get some pricing and some information for you. Well, folks, that pretty much does it for today's video. As always, I'm Joe Ordia here, encouraging you to get prepared and be empowered. Thanks for watching and I'll see you again soon. All right, I hope you're getting some great value from today's video content. Now, if you would like to have your product or your business or technology featured on the Solar Surge channel, feel free to reach out to us at the link below so you can set up a call with our media team to talk about your marketing goals and how Solar Surge can help you get there. Solar Surge is the leading online community in the US residential solar and energy storage space. And so if you'd like to get your product, business, or technology in front of our audience, we can help you do that. Uh, again, feel free to reach out to our media team at the link below or email media at solarsurge.net.